Governor Malloy presented a two-year, $40 billion budget to the General Assembly Wednesday filled with what he described as tough choices, including raising revenue by $900 million and cutting current services spending by $1.3 billion. But the budget does include some bright spots, among them the possibility of cheaper booze. In yet another effort by the governor to give the state's liquor laws a makeover, Malloy proposed changing a minimum price law which would allow package stores to sell at actual cost. But the small package store owners are against the plan that they say will help the larger, wealthier stores and supermarkets that sell beer. As for taxes, Malloy is extending a hand to the middle class with his proposal to move the state sales tax to under 6% for the first time since 1971. But hospitals and businesses aren't so lucky. It appears they may be on the hook for an additional $357 million in taxes. There were also some bright spots in terms of education, including a push for full-day kindergarten for every child in Connecticut by 2017, and plans to make student loans more affordable. The downside? The Connecticut State University system would see some cuts, which critics say could cause a rise in tuition. The University of Connecticut would have its budget cut as well. A $2.3 million cut to the Department of Corrections would be offset by both closing an unidentified prison and Malloy's Second Chance Society initiatives, which would, as its name implies, give nonviolent offenders a second chance. And finally, Malloy is calling for a major investment in transportation, which includes construction to some of the state's major roads and upgrades to Metro North lines. According to Ben Barnes, the administration's budget chief, Tolls aren't off the table, but they aren't going to raise enough money to pay for the governor's entire transportation plan.